Jenkins' name first came up, a lot of the information that was coming out was he's getting guns and drugs off the street and, you know, trying to clean up. So all of a sudden you start seeing the activities that they're involved with and it's shocking how brazen he was. This investigation began with one police officer that we thought was uh, involved in a narcotics conspiracy in Baltimore. Former Detective Gondo was, in fact, associated with a drug organization that was being investigated. And our first wiretap was a narcotics-style wiretap. I don't make mistakes, count money. I'm letting you know. All right, man. Hey, unless they did something in the car. So we were looking at Detective Gondo as a narcotics trafficker. The change in June was very stark because when Detective Jenkins joined the unit, it seemed as if he put the unit in sort of hyperspeed. You have a gun and cocaine, probably I would say two and a quarter just by looking at it. I didn't touch it yet, up in the visor. We quickly realized, and this was sort of shocking, that they were just robbing people left and right on the streets. There's a half a key here, we can get big shit. So at that point, you know, there was sort of, in addition to the drug conspiracy, we took you know, two different tacks as well to see whether there was civil rights, a civil rights case to be made against Gondo and others in the unit, as well as, um, you know, rob robberies. We knew we were onto something big, um, and the question was at that point, like, how many of these individuals are involved in this unit with this criminality?